We didn't have technology like this when I was growing up in Devon. You know? well, when I was growing up in Devon, the most advanced technology I had was if I held a buttercup underneath another child's chin. <laughs> If it reflected back, then I knew they liked butter. <laughs> I mean, if you're that close, just ask. <laughs> no one's keeping that information themselves, are they? No one's going, Steve, do you like butter? Not telling you that, mate. <laughs> That's a secret. Taking that one with me to the grave. <laughs> no one's being interrogated about that at Guantanamo Bay, are they? He's not cracking under questioning. Fetch the buttercup. We'll get this out of him. <laughs> Don't know why I've got him tied down with a daisy chain. He's going fucking nowhere. <laughs> How long has he been here? Well, let me just check by blowing the seeds off this dandelion. <laughs> <sighs> Since one o'clock. <laughs> I mean, genuinely, the most advanced thing I owned when I was a child was my coat. It was, because I had one of those coats where, for the first six months, I didn't realise I had a hood. Because <laughs> it zipped into the collar. <laughs> what is that for? When am I ever going to need to zip my hood back into the collar? Just go a formal occasion. Well, let me just zip my hood back into the collar. <laughs> of my shell suit jacket. <laughs> just trying to lose someone in a chase, nip down alleyway, zip your hood in, come out, then go, where the fuck's he gone? Oh, no, it looked like that guy, but the guy I was following had a hood. <laughs> what was the hood like? The thinnest hood I've ever seen in my life. <laughs>